And now we have a disco. Welcome back to the Snack Tech YouTube channel. Today's project is converting this aquarium, which is, uh, I don't have fish in there right now. It's kind of, let's call it a, let's call it a biological experiment. I've got some dirt and stones and bugs and some worms and uh, some little salamanders in here. And I'm just gonna, sort of an experiment. I wanna see what happens over the winter, but um, I have some grow lights. Handy for aquariums where you wanna have the light on a timer, but you also wanna have it on when when you have people over or when you're, when you're there. The idea is to control this light based on two factors. Uh, I could use a timer to turn it on and off during the day, but I also want to turn it on when there's motion detected. So when, I, when I'm in the room or when, when there's motion, I, I want it to be on and I also want it to stay on for a certain amount of time after so it's not always turning on and off. So for that I'm going to use the SnackTech modules here. This thing is powered from you see supply like this. So I'm going to be breaking into this wire and connecting the relay actor there. I'm going to be using the SnackTech air system. Um, for this project I'm going to need the Director Plus because we're going to be using the real-time clock inside to be turning this on and off based on the time of day as well as the motion, the, the motion observer which will be able to detect motion in the room. I can put this in the ideal location away from the fish tank and then the relay actor to turn the light on and off. So I have my power supply here. I'm going to be cutting into this wire to connect the air relay so that I can control the, the lights. Now that I have the wires tinned, I'm going to be attaching it to the terminal block and I want to use the normally open and calm connection for this. Okay, the wire is successfully installed. Okay, now let's go through the code to make this run. So first we create a real-time clock object from the real-time clock and this allows us to access the date and the time for the real-time clock which is going to decide when the light turns on and off. And here we're just creating a, a constant 4, which is represents the hour. As you can see, this is the tuple here, so we have 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. Hour is the fourth index, so just have it here as a handy macro. Then we create the relay actor object from the ID here, which I found on the back of the relay actor. And we'll call that L, because it's for light. And then here's the motion observer object, which I create from the ID on the back. We call it M for motion. And then we have an infinite while loop because we want the program to run forever. And the logic is pretty simple and it can be customized obviously. Um, but what I want to see here is I want, I want the light to s come on and stay on if there was motion in the last 10 seconds. So I do a motion dot re dot read and uh, and then I just right away get the uh, second since last motion um, parameter here which will give me the no number of seconds since the last motion and in this case uh, it'll be less than 10 if so then we're gonna set the relay set state to 1 which is gonna turn on the light and then we print on and then the cause motion that'll be printed to the uh, rapid uh, print loop um, on on the computer here when when the director is plugged in and then if this is not true if there's no motion in the last 10 seconds then we will see if the real-time clock is saying it should turn on so uh, right now I have it set between 9 and 7 o'clock at night so, so 9 o'clock in the morning and 7 o'clock at night uh, if the real-time clock is showing any hours between those then we're going to set the state to be on and list the cause as time and if not we'll turn it off so then we just sleep for one second just to 
slow everything down a little bit and that's it there's not that much to it uh, this is just saved right on the this is just saved right on the director so as script.py and uh, that's it let's see how it works right now I'm standing in front of the table in the doorway being very still and you can see the motion observer is right there waiting for me to walk in and trigger it and on the computer we can see the light is off due to the time restriction that we set so as I walk into the room the motion sensor will trigger and we see the cause is motion and the light turns on and if we stand really still then it'll turn off Not to trigger the motion sensor and you see it turns off so you can see the relay connected on the back there I triggered the motion again so this would be handy for aquariums where you want to have the light on a timer but you also want to have it on when when you have people over or when you're when you're there in that case you probably set the motion timeout to be a lot longer maybe 10 minutes because there's going to be some motion every 10 minutes at least so that allows you to some flexibility you can also add other sensors and other conditions or program anything you want so anyway thanks for watching and uh, be sure to like and subscribe